going to my life, I'm in Korea now. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I'm in Korea. Hi YouTube, so today I'm going to be finally talking about something that people keep asking me about quite often, so I thought it would be good that I should try and actually make a video about it, and that is dating in Korea. Uh, I don't know why this is such a popular to topic, I guess it's just interesting to know about the dating scene in another country, especially one that you're very interested about. I know I was definitely interested before I left about um, what that kind of thing would be like here. So the reason I hadn't made a video before this was mostly because um, I didn't really have any experience with that. Um, I was in a relationship for a long time and um, it ended last year. And when I was dating um, my ex-boyfriend from home who wasn't Korean at all, he was mixed black and white and yeah, for those who ask. Um, I I don't know, I, I didn't go out, I was pretty antisocial, I stayed at home, um, quite a lot, I only went out special occasions, not like I do now, but maybe I should cut down the times now, <laughs> can't compare nothing to now, but you know, I did, I did stay in a lot, so I didn't really go out and experience people and make new friends and all that stuff, like I had the friends I had made at orientation and those were the main people I hung around with, but I hadn't really made many new friends after that, but that's completely changed, so I should probably make a separate video on friends in Korea, and I'm just going to keep this strictly to like dating, but I haven't really had any super super solid dating experience you could say I've only been single for like about half a year maybe um, not long not that well it's quite a long time actually everyone keeps telling me you should be getting out now and dating and you know you're young you enjoy life and I'm like um okay <laughs> it's like um taking it slow so yeah I've been single for a while now and yeah, I decided that, you know, I'm gonna get out there and talk to people and hang out with people. So I've been hanging out with a lot of people and meeting new people. I guess I should get into some actual stories instead of babbling on and trying to avoid the subject completely, which seems like what I'm doing, but I'm not. I promise you, I'm not. I'm building it up, you know, to, to nothing. <laughs> I'm joking, not to nothing. It's actually some substance to this. I wouldn't lie to you guys. I wouldn't stand here and talk about it. Anyways, with guys, it's kind of weird here. When I was single, I didn't really meet anyone and I didn't seem to meet any Korean guys or hang out with any Korean guys. And as soon as I became single, I just seemed to be surrounded by lots of, not surrounded by Korean guys, but they seemed to be there. I seemed to see them. Like I'm walking down the street, I'm like, ooh, that's one hot Korean man. Damn. <laughs> I don't actually say that or do that because that's rude. But um, I think in my head, as I'm staring, <laughs> it's happened a couple of times. This one time I was on a train, I was going to, I don't remember where I was going to, to do some, some thing um, at some university somewhere. And I was on the subway and then there was this like really tall cute Korean guy that I didn't even notice he was tall cute. So he was walking in front of me and we were like on the moving walkway thing at the station. And he turned around and he looked at me and I was like, and I was like, okay. I thought it was just, you know, oh, foreigner, let me look. And then he turned back around. And then he turned back around again. And, and then he looked at me and he smiled at me, like this smile. And I was like, oh, he's really cute. He's really tall. And then, like, yeah, we just kept exchanging looks. Um, I really, I really wanted to talk to him, and I'm sure he wanted to talk to me, but neither of us decided to take that leap, and yeah, I kind of lost him. And I always regret that moment, like, I wish I'd actually spoken to him, because he seemed pretty, like, interested in something. If not me, um, like, where I'm from or whatever, and that's still nice to make friends and stuff. And he was really nice, well, nice looking. <laughs> he had a lovely smile. And yeah, that's one thing. Um, one of my lovely stories of people I've passed at have gone by me, never to be seen again. Met a couple of guys when I've been out, because I go out a lot on the weekends, and I've met people that way, and I don't always recommend it, to be honest, because when you meet people outside of the environment, they might be a little bit different to when you first met them. So I met this guy once at a bar, and he was really kind of cool, and he was really good looking, he was kind of cute, and I was like, oh, he's cute. So then it made me want to go to that bar quite a lot. I guess he noticed that I, I looked at him a lot. So one day he came up to me and he was just standing in my area and I was just kind of like, awkward. <laughs> It's really warm. He was just standing in my general area and I was like, does he want to talk to me? And he was just kind of looking at me and I was just like, so weird. He was just standing there staring at me, can you say something? It's awkward. And eventually he was like, hi. And I was like, hi. And he was Korean, just in case you're wondering. And he was like, hi. I was like, hi. And then he was like, where are you from or something? I can't remember, it was ages ago. And I, was, I don't remember what I said, but I was like, yeah, I'm from London. Or 
Are you okay? I think I was looking really sad or something. I was sitting alone at this bar on my own. My friends were on the other side of the bar, but I'd come over here to sit alone. I can't remember why. And I was sitting there with my drink, just alone. And he's like, are you okay, I think? And I was like, yeah, I'm okay. He's like, okay. And he walked away. And, um, and one of my friends kind of liked some other person who's at this bar. So one day we were there together and I was like to him, let me show you how you can approach this girl. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you. And I saw this guy I liked, he was over by the foosball table. And I went over there, I went over to him and I was like, can we play? And he was like, hmm, okay, sure. <laughs> And then I was like, okay. So we started playing and everything and I lost. This is like, don't try and guess who these people are. And he was like, sure. So we played foosball together and I lost. Uh, and he's like, what's your name? And I was like, oh, my name's Abby. And I was like, what's your name? And I was like, mm, mm, mm. I read it in Korean. And he was like, oh, you can read Korean. And I was like, yeah. People are so shocked every time. So expect it. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, oh, that's so cool. And I was like, yeah. And, um, yeah, we kind of just, I just kind of walked away eventually, <laughs> so it wouldn't be awkward. I kept meeting up with this guy, and it was really cool, and we hung out a lot, and then eventually we kind of grew apart, so, but, you know, we had a cool experience together, he was a cool guy, cool to hang out with, but I think it was a bit, it was a lot flaky, but eventually I was just like, Ew. language barrier was the hardest thing, actually, it, he wasn't, like, there's was nothing really wrong with him, he was good looking, and everything, but, um, we, we couldn't communicate, it was a problem. So, it eventually fizzled out, it sucked. But, oh well, it went away. But we weren't dating or anything, we just met a couple of times and hung out and stuff. Other than that, yeah. yeah there was this other guy that I met that kind of went crazy on me. Um, <laughs> So I'd known this guy for a friend for a couple of a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks, yeah, for a couple of weeks. And then um, I was I was at a friend's birthday, and this guy was at my friend's house, and he said that he'd come meet me at the friend's birthday, and he brought his friend along, and um, his friend bought their car. So we all after the, my friend's birthday thing, we all went back to at the mutual friend's house to like hang out because everyone was there. We went up there, and you know he drove us. The car was lovely, not the guy's car, but the friend's car. The friend was a really nice guy. Um, <laughs> I'm not saying the other guy wasn't, but it was a different situation. And uh, we went back to the friend's house and we all hung out and we drank Matt Golly and we talked and we just made jokes and stuff and you know, it was interesting, it was funny. Uh, eventually we left and the guy said, the friend of the guy said he would drop me off. So I was like, okay, fine, that's cool. And because we both live in the same area, we both live in Mokdong, so he said he'd drop me off. And I was like, cool, because it's along his way and the guy seemed really cool. So, um, and the other guy, I was like, you can't come to my apartment, you must go home, like that. And he was like, okay. So we all got in the car and the friend was going to drop me off and then drop them off, like home. And he dropped me off and I was like, oh, thank you so much, da, 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 bye. And then the guy got out to say goodbye, but he wouldn't get back in the car. And I was just like, go, it's time now, my emails, just go. And he wouldn't. So um, eventually the friend drove off because he got annoyed that this guy wouldn't get back in the car. And he was just like, I have to go home, my gas is running. So he went. And then the friend and the guy just kind of stayed and he stayed outside and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go home now. And he was like, let me come up. I was like, no. Uh, <laughs> and, then, and then I went upstairs and then he sent me a message. He's like, I'm gonna wait here. I was like, are you serious? So uh, long story short, it ended up with this guy banging on my door after I took him to eat something. He didn't eat the great food that I took him to eat at this food place. And he wouldn't go home after that food. It was like daylight. Let me tell you guys, it was daylight after this night. And <laughs> he wouldn't go home. And I just kind of, eventually, I called one of my friends up. And I was like, oh, there's this really weird guy. He won't leave my door alone. Ah! And then eventually the guy got mad because I was calling this other guy, this other Korean guy I know, because I needed someone there, just in case the guy went really crazy. I didn't know. So <laughs> I came inside. He was like, just go in. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm going to go home now. I went inside and I sat down at my bed and I was really silent. And then the guy started banging on my door. No joke. No lie. I'm not even kidding you. He started banging down my door and he was shouting my name. He's just, Abby, Abby, open the door, open the door. I was like, no, this is, mind you, this is 6 a.m. now. It's 6 a.m. now, a couple of hours have passed. 6 a.m., I've got neighbours on either side, three neighbours on this floor, banging on my door. And he was like sending me cacaos, calling my phone. Oh my god. So I was on the, I was on the um, phone to my friend Jun and I was just like, oh my god, there's this really weird guy. And he won't stop calling me. And then he's like, let me call the police. And I was like, no, don't worry, because it's a mutual friend, right? And I didn't really want to cause trouble. So yeah, in the end, 
and yet I went re I fell asleep actually while the guy was still outside my door I fell asleep while he was still banging making noise and everything and still shouting so that was kind of the end of that <laughs> And when I woke up, he was gone, and he sent me messages saying, "Oh, I'm really sorry. I should have, I should have, um, I shouldn't have been the way I was. I didn't mean to be like that. I didn't mean to scare you. I could see how you could see it threatening him." The mutual friend kind of um, sort met him and kind of dissolved everything, and I eventually ended up forgiving him and you know hanging out with him again because he was really drunk, I guess, at the time. But. Um, <laughs> Okay, after I've forgiven this guy, he wants to hang out. I'm like, okay, fine. We um, go out and we have this great time. Um, we do lots of fun stuff. We um, do lots of games in Sunchan one night, um, one evening after school, and have dinner, and it's really cool. And then the next week, um, he wants to meet again for dinner, and, <laughs> and it's just terrible. It's not terrible. He's probably watching this. And we go and we he, he asks me, what do you want? I was like, there's a great Dakalbi place here, and there's a, and yeah, that's it. And then he was like, oh, look, there's a fish place. And I was like, I just had fish for lunch. And he was like, oh. And then he kept going. So I was like, oh, okay, fine. So we go in this place, and then he goes, oh, I'm going to order octopus. And I was like, I don't like octopus. He's like, it's not octopus. It's like little octopus. And I was like, I don't like octopus. And I just had fish for lunch. I've said this twice now. The guy orders this platter of, like, raw fish. I hate sushi. Raw fish and raw octopus. And then there's this fried fish which is service. So I end up eating the fried fish which is service for the rest of the night while he sits there eating the oh sushi. I hate sushi, I'm sorry. The sushi wasn't so bad when you dip it in the hot sauce. But the octopus, dear lord, the stuff was still moving. Those little tentacles were moving when he was picking that stuff up. So I did not touch it. I don't like octopus when it's even cooked. Like I've just gotten over it and started eating it. But mm, live dead kind of mini mini, not sure, dead or alive, octopus, no thank you. And he kind of was a bit upset. He was like, oh, we should eat this because this is more ex uh, expensive. I was like, I told you I don't like any of like, I don't like this stuff already and you still went and ordered it, it's not my fault. In the end, um, I just forced myself to eat the sushi and I was just really annoyed because I, I really didn't want fish and I really wanted that galbi and I didn't get my dak galbi but it's okay because a few days later I bought dak galbi at Ima and I made it myself and it was so awesome. Oh my god, it was so awesome. <laughs> And he was really trying to convince me um, to like him and stuff. And he was like, why don't you like me? I'm really cool and I'm really tall and I'm going to work at Samsung and I'm smart and I'm all these things. And I was just like, yeah, but somehow something pushy about you that I'm not quite sure I really want in my life. But so that's how that went. And uh, I kind of feel bad for the guy. He's, he's, he's nice enough if that's your kind of type. But I don't really want someone on a power trip or anything. But um, that's that story, that guy. Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to see him again. Probably. I probably will see him around, but I don't know. So those are my main stories, I guess, on dating in Korea. I guess I have other stories, but there's not really time. It's kind of, like, dragging. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about it. I'm still currently single, and, um, you know, I've opened ideas. I've met some really cool people who are just platonic friends with like lots of Korean guys that I'm like just friends with and that I hang out with um, you've seen you've met young haven't you guys you'll see him like next in a few days anyways you'll see him again and you, you guys saw him in my last video yeah he's a really cool guy and I love hanging out with him you know he's a rapper he likes hip-hop and I like hip-hop yeah so he's really cool um, so yeah I've made some really cool friends and I've met some really cool guys and I've had some really interesting experiences I'm just gonna end it here if you guys have any questions anything you guys want me to make on a follow-up on this and then do leave it below comment subscribe like share if you like this please do it does help you know and it makes me um, it makes me feel like encouraged because um, sometimes I feel <laughs> discouraged sometimes I'm like are people actually watching and are they actually watching to the end of the film um, to the end of the video are they interested in what I'm saying etc so you know let me know um, what you guys would like to see and today I got my renewal forms so I don't know if I'm staying thumbs up if you think I should stay thumbs down if you think I should leave <laughs> <laughs> don't thumbs down so thumbs up if you think I should stay in Korea one more year let me know cuz I'm kind of 50-50 I'm gonna ask my parents and see what they think about it and I'm just gonna make my decision I have to make it by tomorrow so please do let me know um, so thanks everyone for watching bye bye well we'll get to see Zion T next time I'm so sad I'm so Zion sad Hello. I really wanted to see her. Hello. <laughs>